3i Atlas is now racing ever closer to Mars, and its latest data has left scientists stunned. This interstellar wanderer is proving so unusual that astronomers are treating its upcoming pass near the Red Planet with heightened urgency. NASA's fleet of spacecraft is already shifting focus to track this extraordinary visitor as it speeds through our solar system. Researchers have uncovered jaw-dropping new details about 3i Atlas and they've changed the way we think about it. Fresh chemical analyses reveal this isn't a comet like the ones we're used to seeing. In fact, some scientists now suspect it may have originated from a planet eerily similar to Mars itself. Most comets we know are icy time capsules from the cold outskirts of planetary systems dominated by water and hydrogen. But 3i Atlas is breaking the mold. Instead of being water-rich, it's loaded with carbon dioxide, laced with carbon monoxide, and contains only a small amount of water. This cocktail is extremely rare for a comet, and strikingly similar to Mars's CO2 heavy atmosphere. So what does all of this point to? It suggests 3i Atlas didn't form in the classic icy nursery where most comets are born. Instead, it may have emerged in a planet-like environment, a place rich in oxygen, more chemically evolved, and strikingly similar to Mars. That makes 3i Atlas looks less like a typical comet, and more like a fragment, or even a leftover shard, from a planet with Martian conditions, rather than just a frozen ball of ice and dust. Comets are usually seen as pristine time capsules, preserving raw material from the earliest days of star systems before planets formed. But 3i Atlas tells a different story. It seems to have originated in a region where planets had already developed, making it an interstellar traveler with a far more complex past. Here's where it gets even more fascinating. During its sweep through our solar system, 3i Atlas passed only close to Mars, and its makeup and appearance eerily mirror the red planet. Could that be pure coincidence? Or does this visitor share a deeper link with Mars itself? Some scientists are now entertaining a radical idea that 3i Atlas may not be entirely natural. Perhaps it formed, or was even engineered, by an advanced civilization on a Mars-like world. Adding to the intrigue, Harvard professor Avi Loeb has noted that while 3i Atlas shows nickel in its chemistry but no iron, new observations reveal iron and nickel drifting in its surrounding gases. The nickel to iron ratio inside 3i Atlas is astonishingly high so high that scientists can't easily explain it. According to the study's author, the temperatures at the distances where comets are typically observed are far too cold to vaporize silicate, sulfide, or metallic grains containing nickel and iron atoms. That makes the presence of these metals in the comet's coma nothing short of baffling. This strange chemistry strengthens the idea that 3i Atlas may not be an ordinary comet at all, but a fragment of a planet very much like Mars. And its unusually close pass by the red planet might be more than just chance alignment. Adding to the mystery, astronomers are tracking even stranger behavior as 3i Atlas approaches Mars. It's visibly shedding mass, wrapped in a shimmering cloud of gas. Normally, when comets vent material, the jets push them slightly off their predicted paths, like a spacecraft firing tiny thrusters. But 3i Atlas is breaking that rule. Despite the gas clouds, its trajectory isn't changing at all. Some researchers think this defiance of physics could reveal its true nature. If it's staying on course while venting huge amounts of gas, it must be far denser and heavier than expected. Early estimates already suggest 3i Atlas could be a thousand times more massive than any comet previously seen a staggering figure for an interstellar visitor. New studies now estimate that 3i Atlas could weigh over 33 billion tons a nearly unimaginable mass for any natural comet. Not only is it vastly heavier than previous interstellar objects, but there also isn't enough rocky material drifting through interstellar space to send such a giant body into the inner solar system within just a decade. 
This scarcity of raw material makes the comet's arrival even harder to explain and strengthens the argument that 3i Atlas might not be entirely natural at all. Adding another layer of intrigue, 3i Atlas originated from the same region of the sky where the famous WOW signal was detected. When researchers retraced its path to 1977, they found something remarkable. In August of that year, the object occupied almost the same patch of sky as the WOW signal. Its position was only about four degrees off in one direction and eight in another, an extraordinarily tight match considering the vastness of the sky. Statistically, the odds of this happening by pure chance are less than 1%. And then there's the eerie green glow. Most comets shine green because of a chemical called diatomic carbon, which glows when sunlight breaks it apart. But the glow of 3i Atlas is deeper, richer and stranger than usual, yet another clue that this isn't just another icy wanderer from deep space. But with 3i Atlas, scientists haven't detected the usual materials in its surrounding gas cloud, none of the normal culprits behind a comet's green glow. That makes its eerie light even more baffling. If the familiar substances aren't there, then what exactly is producing the strange emerald shimmer of this interstellar traveler? Adding to the mystery is its sudden brightening. When 3i Atlas was first discovered, it was an extremely faint 18th magnitude object, barely visible even through powerful telescopes. Then, almost without warning, it erupted in brightness, leaping to 12th magnitude. This dramatic flare-up has no clear explanation. Ordinary comets grow brighter gradually as sunlight warms their icy surfaces and releases dust and gas. But 3i Atlas didn't follow the script. Its sudden glow looked as if something unusual was happening inside or around it. Stranger still, the outburst occurred just as the comet was approaching Mars, prompting speculation that its close encounter with the Red Planet may have triggered a hidden process. Even its path through our solar system is raising eyebrows. Unlike most interstellar objects, 3i Atlas is moving almost perfectly along the plane of our solar system. On its journey, it's passed unusually close to several planets while somehow avoiding Earth altogether. Yet another clue that this is no ordinary cosmic visitor. Perhaps the strangest twist of all came when 3i Atlas reached its closest point to the Sun. At that critical moment, it shifted just enough to slip behind the Sun from Earth's perspective as if it were playing an interstellar game of hide-and-seek. Could all of these bizarre details, the ghostly green glow, the sudden flare of brightness, the rare, razor-precise trajectory, and now this vanishing act truly be mere coincidences? Or is 3i Atlas something far more extraordinary than a drifting comet? Determined to find out, astronomers are now mobilizing their biggest instruments. From ground-based observatories to powerful space telescopes, the world's eyes are lining up to track this cosmic enigma. They're preparing to measure its chemical makeup, analyze its glowing shroud, and study every flicker of its unusual behavior. This close approach to Mars has only raised the stakes. On October 3rd, 3i Atlas swept past our red neighbor, giving scientists a once-in-a-lifetime chance to see how an interstellar object behaves inside a planetary environment. Such encounters are almost unheard of, and researchers hope the flyby will expose hidden secrets, whether the object releases exotic material, shifts in brightness once more, or reacts to Mars's thin atmosphere or magnetic field. Whatever happens, this is more than just an astronomical observation. It's a front row seat to one of the most intriguing cosmic mysteries of our time.